This play is called Our Town. It was and over like, you know, senior year especially, we're constantly looking at what's ahead, you know, where are you going to college, you know, AP tests in a couple weeks, you know, what, what we're going to do with our lives and what we're going to make of it. And I think, you know, this, this play, even though it's very much set in 1904, um, I think Wilder was writing to every human, and no matter where you're going and no matter where you've been, take a minute to know where you are. Well, I don't know. I just couldn't sleep. Oh, is it the moonlight wonderful? It's a real challenge for the actors because it's not just pretending, it's not a performance. Like, it's not musical theater where you're up there and you're all happy and whatever because the audience is right here. They can see everything that's happening in your face and they can tell how you're feeling and they can tell when you're pretending. So I think that's one of the really hard parts for the actors and I think everyone in the show has overcome that challenge and done so well with being in the moment and doing everything they can and feeling the whole show. I mean, whatever you're gonna see on on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday when we open is going to be real. It's going to be honest. Um, it's definitely the most intimate performance experience I've done. You know, we've taken a play and stripped away all the kind of movie magic that you usually expect to see in a theater. We've taken away the auditorium and we've taken away um, our props. And we, at the beginning of the play, we begin by saying, this play. We admit up front that this is a story. Um, and so we, we've tried really hard to dive into just the the very essence of what it means to find joy and beauty and love in the smallest of things, even with no big effects or music or, or props. You get to learn so much from your doppelganger. So the other Emily and I, we ha we're nothing alike. We're best friends, but we're nothing alike when in our performances. And it's so cool to get to see things that are different and steal ideas from them if you really like something. And getting to sit back and enjoy the show is so, so nice. Because you don't normally get to do that. You never get to see the show you're in. and so. I mean, right now I'm about to go watch them do it, and I get to sit in the chair the whole time and just listen, and knowing what happens in the end, I get to come and listen to everything, all of the new things. And every time I watch the show, I learn something new, which is why everyone should come see it more than once.